Welcome to The Referral. I'm Dr. Curran, a surgeon in the UK, and this is your weekly fix of evidence-based science and health information so you can have a better life. It's summer, so that means sun's out, guns out. And in this episode, we're going to be discussing how you can build muscle, but not any pseudoscientific way, the evidence-based science-backed method so you can build the most amount of muscle and get ripped. We're also going to take a deep dive into certain supplements that you can take to enhance your muscle growth and also weeding out some of the nonsense supplements you hear about. And to talk about all things muscle growth, I've got the perfect guest. I've got Nathan Williams. He's a personal trainer, sure, but even more importantly, and I make sure I'll get this right, he is a professional, natural, bodybuilding world champion, and he has been for a number of years. He's an absolute beast in the world of bodybuilding and muscle growth. It's a pretty funny sport when you, um, if you don't really um, know it too much about it, you see a bunch of oily, muscly men in pants standing on the stage staring at each other. Hairless. Yeah, exactly, just bald. And he specialises in body transformations. He's worked with school children, office goers, and professional athletes as well. So this episode will have something for you. A simple way to do it is just one gram of protein per pound of your body weight. As you know, I love answering your questions so you'll get your turn during crowd science. And if you have a burning question you want to ask me, head over to thereferralpod.com to get in touch. Also coming up, we have If It Ducks Like a Quack. This part of the show, I'll be debunking all those ridiculous myths you hear online. But first up, what the health? Let's take a quick look at what's going on in the world of science, medicine, and health. What the health? This one is wild and might give you something to smile about, literally. In the next few years, we might have a drug that helps humans regrow teeth. Now, as you may know or may not know, teeth, when they're broken, can't be regrown. And to help us fill our toothy smiles, Japanese scientists are about to start a human clinical trial looking at a type of medication that can help humans regrow teeth. And according to the Japanese media, by 2030, we could have tooth regeneration medicine. It all started back in 2021 when a team of researchers at Kyoto University published some interesting research which suggested that a protein known as USAG1 limited the growth of teeth in mice. And by turning off the gene that codes for the production of that protein, USAG1, the mice were able to regrow teeth. And the same group of researchers later then created a neutralizing antibody drug therapy against that protein, which also helped the same mice regrow teeth. Now, mice are not humans, but they also replicated the same results in ferrets who have somewhat of a similar dental pattern to humans, apparently. Animal studies are all well and good for early research, but we now need to know if this same thing works in humans. And to that end, the clinical trials are set to start in July 2024. I mean, the idea of growing new teeth is every dentist's dream or potentially nightmare. For example, in the US, over 25 percent of adults over the age of 65 have eight or less teeth and 17 percent of older people have lost all their teeth apart from a cosmetic look this can severely impact a person's quality of life and also impact on the type of diet they can consume so keep watching this space 